A desperate effort by family and friends to locate a missing Belize City resident, presumed dead, led a search party down an unsurfaced path off the John Smith Road this morning. Following a lead that a shallow grave had been discovered across from the Western Pines community, a team of police officers and scenes of crime personnel visited the area and proceeded on foot approximately a mile and a half into a grassy plain. 29-year-old Christopher Sosa was last seen on January 5th. When his family did not hear from him three days later, a missing persons report was filed with the Belize Police Department. We, we know him missing from Saturday, Saturday afternoon, basically. Um, then we just say, all right, we are wait one more night for see if he come home. So Saturday night, I mean, last night, we been try to wait for him to say if he may come home. Whenever I come home Saturday night, then Sunday, I just tell my ma, I think we need to make a report. So we gone ahead and make the missing person report. And then the, from then, rumors start to circulate, you know, something happened to my brother. And from then, from Sunday, after we done make the report, that from then we start the search for my brother, but nothing. Sosa is no stranger to the law. In fact, his ties to an infamous Belize City gang are well known. In 2018, he was one of two men acquitted of the murder of Rommel Palacio Sr., who was shot multiple times to various parts of the body on Father's Day 2011. My brother had a life, you understand? He he been out there, you know, and he do what he had to me do and I can't judge off of that. I know I judge off of that, you understand? That between he and God. So maybe something come back to him, you know. How did you find out about the police and scenes of crime effort today to try to find either evidence of his personal belongings or perhaps a shallow grave as it was initially rumored earlier? Well, the, my, I have family members out this side where they um, look for him on this side of the road. So the, one of my family members, you know, notified me, notified we from earlier, but, you know, we still made it over, we made it up on our side, and I tell they call me, I tell me, it could possibly be somebody in the grave and that the home comes with there. Sosa was last seen wearing a gray t-shirt and black shorts with red stripes on the side. On his feet was a pair of black Nike slides. He is the second person affiliated with the same group that remains unaccounted for. The other is 23-year-old Kyle Latchman, who was last seen on December 26, 2022. Talk to us about the search effort that the family is conducting to try to either find Chris Sosa alive or to retrieve his remains. Well, the search, everything that you yeah, empty for us, we gone everywhere. Where I could possibly think about everywhere, <laughs> everywhere, and nothing, <laughs> nothing. Give us an idea of the locations that you guys have visited in search of your brother. John Smith Road, Hattieville. Um, we gone way up the Mahogany Heights, we gone through Coastal Road, we did through Boom, nothing. Not, we gone through Homeland Memorial, everywhere I could possibly think, but we even gone back a dike. So on dike, back by Father's Road, I end up yesterday, and nothing. Chris Sosa's sister, who spoke with us off camera, says the family strongly believes that he has been killed. Their only hope is to find his remains and give him a proper burial. I, we know he did. We know, we know, we know. We know for a fact. But I just want to tell me about my brother there. Like I said, I, make, I put my brother to rest and that's it. We don't want nothing else. We don't look for nothing else. We just, I just want to find my brother. You know, that's it. But it's not typical that he would just leave home and not say anything to the family? It's not typical. If he even lock up that station, he want make a way to find us. Say, you know, sis, at that station, or even I call a partner, message a partner, I tell her, um, you know, at that station, bring something for you eat, you know, bring her food or something like that. It's not typical of my brother to go so long without notifying us. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.